What's going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today we are back with yet another Catch and Cook. This series episode is going to be the infamous Jaguar Gupote as you call it. Or as I like to say, Jaguar Chipotle. Now the Jaguar Gupote is one of the many exotic species here in South Florida and I've heard rumors of them tasting very, very good. So today we are out here, we have a spinning rod with a little crappie jig on here and we're going to try and get either one or two jaguars and cook them up now there is no size limit or bag limit to these fish that is an official fwc number again i will leave the link in the description below if you guys really want to go and check out the rules so you guys don't think i'm lying but we're here we're going to go ahead and get started catch a few head back to the kitchen and try them for the first time Oh, oh, there's two right there. Here we go. Yes, got one. Jaguar, you guys. Beautiful fish right here. That's going to be one of our catch and cooks. I'm going for two today. So I'm gonna get this guy off the hook, and try and catch another one. I think there's like two or three down there. So we're gonna try and get two of them for our catch and cook, and we are going to call it, head back in, and prepare these fish. But here's one right here. Try and get another one. Got him, got him. Oh my gosh. Second one, you guys. Second jag. This is going to be perfect for a catch and cook. We got two probably beautiful fillets that are going to be taken out of these guys. We're going to head back and prepare them. I'm excited. Guys, we're back in the kitchen with our Jaguar Chipotles. We're going to go ahead, fillet these things, and try them for the first time like we always do. So let's get started. <laughs> Guys, so we are back in the kitchen as always. Now, here are our Jaguar fillets. Now, right off the bat, I love to give you guys as much detail as possible about this fish, obviously, because you're not here with me trying it. So, right off the bat, I noticed that the meat isn't as white as I'm used to. Um, it has a, and it's very, very veiny actually. So, it's not as white, it's really, really veiny. It still looks okay, and online people say that it is very tasty. So, here is the meat. Also, here we have our little preparing station. We have the milk that's going to be soaking in, uh, takes the fishy taste away, leave it in there for a little bit. As always, we have the egg wash that we're going to dip it in before the breading. And we're going to try something a little bit new. Ever since I've been doing these catch and cook series, I've actually had chefs contacting me saying you know let me send you some of my seasoning i see you always trying to make cajun style or spicy style because i do like spicy foods so today i'm using something a little bit different than usual it's a louisiana cajun crispy fish fry no this is not a sponsored video this is the first thing i saw and it looked good so i bought it so that is what is in here 
So we're going to dunk it in the milk, and then we're going to rinse the milk off, put it in the egg wash, put it in the seasoning, and then put it in the pan. So let's go ahead and get this process started and try this Jaguar Chipotle. So these have been sitting in milk for long enough. We're going to go ahead and rinse them out. So now that the fish is rinsed out, as you can see, all the milk is gone, a little bit of residue left over. We're gonna go ahead and put them in our egg wash and then get those soaked in egg. And then we're gonna go and dip them in our fish fry right here. And then it's off to the pan and we're gonna try these bad boys. Dunk them one at a time in. Make sure they're completely just covered in this fish fry batter just so we can get a you know, maximum Cajun taste. We're gonna actually, we're gonna actually double do. We're gonna, we're gonna dip it back in the egg after it's been covered, just to get that extra coverage. There we go. And there you have it. There is a fully covered, breaded piece of jaguar in the uh, Cajun fish fry. So we're gonna put that aside, and we're gonna do the rest. Here we go, here are the Jaguar, all breaded up, ready to go into the pan. I'm getting really hungry, guys. These things look like, these things literally look like chicken tenders. <laughs> I don't know if you could, you could probably tell on camera. They look literally like chicken tenders, the way it's breaded, but if you guys are getting hungry, I mean, just looking at this like I am, leave a like. But let's go ahead and get this pan nice and hot and get this started. Once you have your patent pending hot ass pan ready to go with the homemade hot ass oil we're gonna go ahead and dunk the pieces right here into the pan let's go oh yes oh it smells so good there we go you guys these things are cooking now a lot of you guys recommended for me to use a little bit more oil than I usually do. So that is the route that I went. But they're cooking. They should be done in, I'd say, five, maybe seven minutes. But this looks pretty good, you guys. I'm really excited about this. Alright, so these things have been cooking on one side for about three minutes. We're going to go ahead and flip them now. Oh my gosh. As always, I'm going to try not to burn them. A lot of you guys get on me for that, but they're looking pretty good. Alright, so we're going to do like another two or three minutes on that side. And these things are done. They look so freaking good. All right, guys, these things are finished. They are done. They look incredible. We're gonna go ahead and put them on a paper towel here just to drain some of the, uh, the oil that I used. And then we're gonna plate them and we're gonna try them. Let's do this. Oh my God, these look so good. This, you guys, this time maybe this is probably the best looking fish that I've, that I've cooked so far. All the chefs out there that have been messaging me, you guys are gonna be so proud. Look at that. Look at that. They look so good. Right, that is it. They have been sitting on this paper towel, draining the oil. They look very, very good now. Just, just take a look, you guys, at how amazing these look. They're like crispy, perfectly brown. I didn't burn them. The season, it smells so good. It's time to go to the table and try these fish. Let's go. All right, you guys. We're back at the table yet again, trying a new species of fish in the Catch and Cook series. Now, here it is, you guys. Here is Jaguar Gupote. I'm probably saying that wrong throughout the whole video, but you guys know what it is. Here, look, look at how beautiful this fish is, you guys. I mean, it just came out incredible. Let me try and focus. Just look at how beautiful those, those fillets are. I mean, I haven't been so excited to try a fish in so long. Like I said before, by far, throughout all the catch and cooks that I have done, this one is the best looking. Now, I haven't even tried it yet, but I'm giving it the best 
physically looking fish after it's been cooked so far it looks so good so as always i'm going to give you a smell visual and obviously after i'm done tasting i'm going to let you know exactly how it tastes so when it goes to smell before it was cooked it was kind of fishy right when it came out of the milk it literally smelled like nothing as it was cooking it did not have a fishy smell as it was cooking like some fish did again visually looks great so now what we're going to do is a break test i want to show you how the meat looks and i'm a little bit curious to see what the meat looks under the underneath this breading because the meat was kind of dark um, like i said in the beginning it's not as white as i am used to so we're going to do a little break test here this is the jaguar break test to see what the meat looks like inside after it's cooked okay it is kind of whiter than it was it's still a little bit veiny inside but you know overall it looks it looks okay it looks good i mean it doesn't look as white as the previous one so i'm not too excited about that i think that is a downside to this species of fish but next is to taste it so let's do it this is the jaguar capote or as i like to call it the jaguar chipotle taste test in three two one Okay, um, right off the bat, the seasoning obviously is what I taste first. It's great. It has a little bit of heat to it. <clears throat> Whoa, <clears throat> that is actually really spicy. After you get through the breading and into the meat, it's all right. It is kind of flaky. Um, now, the only reason I don't, it, the reason I say it's okay is because when I bite into it, I still see how veiny it is, which isn't that pleasing to bite into as well as the taste is kind of bland if this didn't have any seasoning on it it probably would be like chewing flavorless gum i mean it's literally just like absolutely nothing not as good as snakehead not as good as gar um pretty much not as good as anything i've tasted the only thing that this thing is better than is cichlid cichlid is disgusting so overall for the jaguar i give it a five out of ten on taste i don't like bland fish Snakehead has incredible taste to it. Tilapia has a distinctive taste to it. This fish, it tastes like nothing. It's okay. They do taste good. I'm definitely going to finish off the plate, which I'm already almost done with. Um, but yeah, it was okay. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for the Jaguar Catch and Cook. I had a lot of fun filming this video. I do love trying a lot of these new species on this series. So whatever you guys want to see next, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys want to see next and I will probably do it in this series. All the videos that I do in the Catch and Cook series come from your guys' suggestions. So make sure you guys let me know below what you want to see. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you later.